We saw a news story this week about it, uh, so we wanted to look into it. After Mario Sims and other members of Citizens United for a Better Government, known as CUBG, saw our story on ABC 57 News, they reached out to the Franklin family. There's no investigation, no apology from the mayor, no apology from the chief of police. Uh, this is just outrageous. On July 7th, Vivian and Dan Franklin say three police officers barged into their home with guns drawn, looking for their 21-year-old son, Dan Jones. Police say Jones was actively involved in a domestic case. The Franklins say Jones doesn't live here anymore, but the police found the couple's 18-year-old son, Deshaun, sleeping in a bedroom and thought he was the man they were looking for. And they went in my son's room and tased them and hit them. But he was asleep in his bed. Mr. Franklin said that he saw the police punch him in the jaw. Uh, and then he saw uh, them tase him twice. And after a few minutes, they determined that he's not even the person that they're looking for. They just said they were sorry and they went on out the door. We don't have any confidence in the mayor's ability to administer justice in this city. So now Sims and members of CUBG are asking the Common Council to oust the mayor out of office. Uh, we've had almost four months for the city to take some sort of disciplinary action against these officers. We've heard no investigation, no officers being disciplined. In fact, you can't even access the report. ABC 57 was able to get a copy of the initial report that states the officer's taser was ineffective because only one prong made contact with Deshaun. In order for the taser to work, police say both prongs must be deployed. As for why they thought the suspect was at his parents' house, the report shows a canine unit tracked his scent right to the back door. CUBG is upset the Franklins have not been able to gather any feedback about whether the officers have been disciplined for their actions. The mayor is the chief executive of the city. I mean, it's very clear that the buck stops at his desk.